everyone, it's Lori. Thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today I have kind of a fun project. I have a swap group and in our swap group we swap paper crafts. Um, it's kind of a new thing to do. It's snail mail, happy mail, um, for it referred to as all kinds of things. But if you're not familiar with it, what we do is swap back and forth paper craft items with other people. You make something, they make something, and you send them back and forth. So anyway, this is the one I made. And this is what we're going to make today. This is the Cricut Faux Leather, and I thought this turned out so cute. These are super, super simple to make. I have uh, provided you with an SVG for the cut file, and it will, you'll find it in the description below the video. So feel free to use that. Um, here is one that I made, so you can see it up close. You can see this faux leather has a pebbled texture to it. And here's one I attached to a mini clothespin. So you can just attach it on your planner or to, you know, any of your projects. But I really, really like the way this leather adds a little bit of texture and just uh, something different than just paper to my projects. I also put these on cards. You could make it bigger and put it on an actual package. Um, the, the leather comes in a roll like this. It's um, kind of thin. You don't need the deep blade to cut this. And this is what it looks like in the store. The packaging new. Oops, I guess you'd like to see that right side up. Forgive me, the glare. So it's the faux leather and it's pebble. It comes in all different colors. So let's uh, try to make a book. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create new project. We're going to click on upload images. Click on upload image. Browse. You're going to navigate to where you saved the file that I made for you. It's called Leather Bow SVG and for me it's right here in my Dropbox. And we're going to click open. And you can tag it right here. I'm going to call it bow ribbon and I'm going to put my initials. And then click save. It will be the first item right here in the project bin. Click on it and click insert images. Perfect. This comes in a lot bigger than what we're going to need for our project, but you can make this as big as you want. Keep in mind if you're using a 12 by 12 mat, the largest you can go is 11 and a half inches wide. You can use a 24 inch mat if you wanted to go a little bit longer for say a package or something, which could be really, really cute. But for this project, we don't need it nearly that big. So we're going to go over here to the right to our edit menu. And with the lock locked, which will make everything resize proportionately, we're going to change the width to 4.5. That seems to be about the right size for the, most of the projects that I use the bow for. And that is all we need to do. So we're going to click go. And at this point, you can move this material around. I'm going to use this lower left corner of my mat since I rarely use this. And let's see, I'll go down even a little bit lower. Move those as close together as I can. And we're done. All we need to do is click go. I'm going to select my device. I'm going to use the Cricut Explore Air 2. I have my smart dial set on custom and there is a setting for Cricut faux leather. It's right here under the L's. If you scroll down, everything's alphabetical. So if you scroll down to the L's, you'll find leather faux one millimeter Cricut. That's the setting we want. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out real quickly and meet me in my craft room and we'll put this together. Okay, so we have our three pieces that we cut out of the Cricut faux leather. We have, this is the back of the bow, this is the actual bow itself, and then this is the center of the bow. I've also just got a large paper clip. You could also use one of these mini clothespins or a binder clip or just use it uh, without attaching it to anything. That's perfectly fine. But we're going to make a paper clip. 
So all you do, this is super simple to put together, all you do is take the curved piece, the pebble side down, and you're going to put a little dollop of glue. You could also use a glue dot, I just feel a little more secure with hot glue. And you're going to fold that middle in and fold this side in. And let that stand just a second so it adheres. Perfect. All right, now we're going to take this centerpiece and center it over the middle. Turn it over. I'm going to add another dollop of glue. And we're going to fold the sides in. And hold that just a second. Try not to get too much glue on your fingers. Be careful you don't burn yourself. All right, that looks super cute. There's the base of our bow. Make sure that's centered. All right, now we're going to put a, another dollop of glue on the back side. And apply our paper clip. You don't want to apply the end with the two sides, you want to apply the clear end. We're just going to add that right there. Now we're going to put one more dollop of glue just to make sure we've got it nice and secure. And we're going to take this pebble side down and place it centered over the back. And I am using the silver in this video, the silver pebbled faux leather. There's gold, um, actually I think it's called champagne, which I have that one right here. This is how it comes. But anyway, here is our cute paper clip. Here is another one that I made earlier. And I think they're really, really cute. The pebbled leather or faux leather just really adds a little something more than the paper paper clips. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pick up your free SVG in the video description below. Till next time, see ya!